Hey guys, we're here at Walmart. Uh, this is an all too familiar view for a lot of you guys. Uh, you come over here and you have lots of selection and not sure what you're gonna choose. A lot of people end up overspending because they, they're like, I'll try this, I heard my friend use this. But we're gonna kick it back to the basics. I'm gonna show you guys uh, one of the lures I use for small pan fish fishing. Uh, that's been very successful for me. I saw this on YouTube time ago. But I'm gonna show you guys my tips and tricks, so here it goes. So you wanna go and pick up these. This is from Gulp. One inch smelt colored minnow. All these are fabulous. This is what all the small fish are eating. And you wanna pair it, and it's very well placed here right next to the trout magnet lures. These are wonderful lures, and you got gold hooks, and you got silver, silver hooks. Go with the silver hooks. You guys can choose several colors. I'm gonna just use this one. And it's a 164 ounce jig head. If you guys can have something similar in your toolbox, use that. But I'm gonna show you guys this as an example. And we're gonna pair it with this. Easy pan fish float, $1.76. It'll come out too. 809 on those. 809. That was actually cheaper than what we were planning. Lures. Awesome. We got our uh, secret sauce that we got. We're heading out. Obviously, there's a bunch of snow out. I don't know when we're going to set up a next video and uh, go out fishing, but uh, we'll stay in touch. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so it's been like five minutes and I can't remember where I left my vehicle. This has turned into more of a fishing trip on its own. Oh, thank goodness, man. We found the car. And just in time, because like 10 more steps and I would have just called for an Uber. I almost got bad, guys. All right, let's race home. All right, guys, we're back at corporate headquarters. Uh, we're gonna show you guys how to rig this up and what's the best kind of rig and how to fish it. And uh, once we're done, we're actually gonna go out to the area. We're gonna go catch some fish. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first step is to place one of these easy floats on our fishing line. And what we're gonna do, it's really easy. You remove the peg, insert the fishing line through the slot and replace the peg back in the hole. This is gonna secure that float in place and adjust it to our desire. Okay, the very next step we're gonna do, we're gonna pull out about another 12 or 24 inches of fishing line. And we're gonna tie on one of these little silver jig heads. Those are the little hooks on the bottom. And we're gonna tie it on with a polymer knot. Very easy to use and simple to learn. So the very last step is just go ahead and place one of these soft plastics on that jig head. And what you're gonna do once it's out there, it's gonna look just like a real minnow to these fish. And they can't help but bite because they're hungry. They'll see this and they'll attack right away. Rigged up and ready to go. Let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, here we are. We're at Bountiful Lake Pond out here just out of Salt Lake City. Got a fella that just caught a fish. Look at that. What are you using, man? Red. Red, yeah, man, that's a good bait. Cool stuff. Now, uh, oh my gosh, they're everywhere right now. Let's see if we can show you guys. So I'm actually gonna go get my polarized glasses. That's what we're gonna need now. All right, we got the first one. So we're placing it under the bobber, you know, and they weren't really taking it, so we started jigging that little lure. Sure enough, we got the first few ones. Beautiful, beautiful little trout. Is that like a brook trout? Well, seems like it. We're gonna pull it in and get a closer look. trout. Now these got little pointy mouths, but sure enough, these guys are out here. There's so many in here, we're gonna catch a whole bunch and we're gonna release a whole bunch so more people can fish them. All right, guys. Beautiful. Here's our second one of the day. Ten minutes out here, and we're already catching a whole bunch of them. That was good. Beautiful. Oh, this yeah, so I decided to throw the bobber back on there just to show you guys that this rig is proven method. Sure enough, look at this. We're getting one after another, several bites. So we're gonna bring this little guy, and we're gonna release him also. Boom, baby. We just pulled out another one right now. Now 
now those little floats do an amazing job to just keep everything in place and uh, since they offer such a low profile it doesn't take much for the trout to bring it down and not detect that bobber sitting up on top of them oh, look at that guys all right let's bring it in that bobber is going to be such a subtle movement you're going to see them go ahead and grab it right now and you can go ahead and jiggle it Okay, there's there's gonna be a strike. There we go. Got right, guys, here's fish number six in a matter of like only what 20 minutes we've been out here. So this rig, I want you guys to try it out. Try it out for yourself. Uh, take somebody you love, go fishing. You know, go have some fun. That's the purpose of the sport. All right, man. So one of our fishing partners here, look, decided to use a Rapala, and sure enough, look at the size of this beast. What a champ. It's really big. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you got tangled up with some other line, huh? Yeah. Good stuff. Guys, that's how we do it. Nice. And I want to show you guys something really interesting. We're going to go ahead and take this out of him. So always keep a pair of pliers at hand. These needle nose pliers you can pick up at Walmart. As most things that we're going to be using on the show. And the reason why these are so effective is we want to make sure we don't hurt the fish when we're releasing the leg. Uh, some of the All hooks. right, guys, that does it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTF Outdoors. We'll see you soon.